हेलो कॉटर्स वेलकम टू डे ट्वेल्व सेशन ऑफ मार्शलिंग स्प्रिंग बूट सो इन दिस सेशन वी फोकसिंग ऑन कंट्रोलर लेयर ओके सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डन विथ वैलिडेटिंग अवर रिक्वेस्ट बॉडीज ओके सो वी विल ट्राई टू राइट लॉज कंट्रोलर क्लासेस एंड देयर रिस्पेक्टिव मैथड्स फॉर अ ब्लॉग ओके ऑपरेशन सो लेट्स ओके सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ ब्लॉग कंट्रोलर क्लास just right click and click on new controller and just give name as a blog controller okay so first annotation uh, we required is rest controller okay so rest control annotation is used to enable a uh, rest service okay then we need to use validate annotation okay so we need to call a service layer logic over here so let's uh, create uh, call this service class over here blog um, service okay uh, after that uh, um, annotate this with auto add okay after that uh, just first we write a uh, logic for update a blog okay just copy this stuff and uh, paste this method over there just name this update blog call okay so first of all uh, we need to it is basically we need to pass a request body okay request body annotation and which is uh, we need to use blog uh, update blog request uh, dto over here okay after that we need to validate this also validate this also okay done after that we need to use uh, basically it is update service so we need to use put method put mapping and in put map mapping we need to provide um, the api url like which api over there it is like v1 version um, basically versioning is very important like for example if you uh, implement any uh, features and in future if you want to add a new feature for this and deprecate the previous one version is very useful okay so uh, we use v1 version for this and after that a uh, blocks over there okay and a put method give idea it is a updated block okay after that uh, just use this uh, block service okay block service dot uh, update block and uh, here uh, we need to pass a block entity okay so let's first create a block entity class so in update blog method we need to pass a blog entity class so just uh, create one object for this okay blog then a new blog okay and we just need to copy the whole properties from blog update blog request to a blog so for this we need to use um, bin utils utils dot uh, copy properties okay so our source is a uh, update blog request and our destination is a blog okay and after copying the whole stuff just pass this object to update blog okay after that um, the return type is for this is response entity okay so we basically we are passing returning a response entity okay so in response entity uh, we define a generic uh, a response entity for our whole project so just uh, create an object for this uh, dev byte school uh, a, a response entity okay just um, create an object for this okay response entity and after that um, um, your update blog uh, method returning you a blog entity okay which uh, entity is updated okay just create one variable uh, updated blog blog because we need to pass that in a response okay uh, blog is equal to update blog okay what's error is coming uh, unexpected okay so we need to throw the exception okay so in our generic response into two uh, we will set this okay set message okay and then um, after setting message uh, we need to set uh, a data okay our data is like uh, up the response which is get after updating updated blog okay 
and the message is blog updated successfully fully okay B blog updated successfully okay after that uh, we need to throw the exception okay for this just write our this is our whole uh, business logic okay so write this uh, business logic in uh, try catch block okay uh, try then catch and catch you just need to pass uh, exception exception uh, and then so here we need to uh, response uh, basic uh, return uh, okay um, our generic response entity so just return this return response entity okay response entity dot uh, for success we need to give a okay okay in okay just uh, pass over this initialize object over here so the status code is 200 and our data is basically message and uh, this message and our updated blog entity okay. blog updated uh, successfully okay after that uh, to performing a save operation uh, uh, any exception will be occur for example we not able to connect with database so to throw that exception we need to uh, return that also so in catch block we just re uh, returning our exception so response entity and then a uh, status in that we need to okay so any uh, internal server error happen uh, so we need to throw that also okay so any internal server error happen we need to return that also for example we uh, connect with uh, uh, our mongodb database and that database is not available so we get a connection timeout so let's return that uh, uh, return that okay so return uh, response entity okay response entity you need to just use a status okay in that status you need to use http status Okay, in that HTTP status, uh, uh, we just uh, use internal server error. Okay, and just build that. Okay, so this will be a uh, give you exception as an internal server error, and user get idea something went wrong, and we just uh, show in the front end. Okay, I just uh, pause the video and write a logic for remaining methods. So we have uh, one method over there which is a create block. So it is save service. So I, I use a post mapping for this and call a create blog uh, a method from a uh, blog service after that we have a get map uh, uh, get blog over there okay logic for that i use a get mapping annotation and uh, we use a path variable to get that blog id and with respect to blog id we're returning a blog entity and uh, we have a delete method over there for delete uh, we are using delete mapping annotation and a path variable and we delete the particular blog entity with respect to blog id and we provide a proper message like blog delete successfully okay so one method is remaining which is a get a list of blocks okay uh, in a list of blocks we are using um, pagination so for this i will create a separate video in uh, coming uh, chapters okay uh, and same as it is uh, we will create a logic uh, for a uh, comments also so all code uh, i will commit uh, in a github repository you can go there and check the whole code and if you still have any question please write down write down in comment uh, we will try to address that okay uh, yeah that's it from today's video let's meet on uh, next video thank you so much